Okay, look what I just got in the mail. What? It's a no slip mini loop, okay? Pretty excited. Hey, there's even a spot to put your name. That's cool. So people don't steal it at the gym. Okay, today I'm doing a review of the new non-slip mini loop. I'm excited about it because as I've trained multiple clients over the last number of years and mini bands have become a thing, very popular, one of the complaints of mini bands is that they can flip and turn on your quads, like when they're around your legs. It can be annoying, it can be even painful, especially if you're using a tight band and, uh, and you wanna get some good extension. That band sometimes just snaps right into the leg, cuts into you, and then oftentimes flips and rolls up and then all of a sudden, like, you have to start over. So, I went on Amazon, ordered this non-slip. I've tried it on already, <laughs> it's tight, I'm not gonna lie. Like that is, it's gonna be hard for me. I ordered the tighter one, there was a, a super easy light one and then a firmer, harder one. Just two sizes in this name brand anyway. And uh, But I think I'm gonna be happy with it, especially for lower body exercises. I've tried a few like um, <laughs> tricep exercises and, and even like, you know, I can't move it. It's, it's really hard. But that being said, it's gonna be great for legs. Super, I can't wait. So in today's workout, I'm gonna be doing a little review and also we're gonna be hitting it hard lower body exercises with this band. I'm also gonna incorporate a few dumbbells, so grab a variety of those. Hey, if you're not subscribed already and uh, you've just found us, welcome here. We're all about fitness, wellness, and nutrition in sustainable ways for the rest of your life. So I invite you to subscribe. Don't forget to hit the little bell. That gives you an indicator when we put out new videos, which is twice a week. So what? That's good. That's, hey, join. And if you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up or share it on your social media platforms. Why don't you share it to Pinterest lately? Thank you for that. That makes my heart swell with happiness. Also, don't forget to follow me on Instagram at Move Daily Fitness. All right, you ready for this? Let's get started. mention if you don't have the no slip mini band not to worry just use your regular bands that's gonna work fine but you might think of investing in this and it was cheap actually this was with shipping to Canada which is expensive uh, it was $20 so I think it was only like 10 or 11 if you live in the United States that is cheap Amazon as I said before, we're gonna be using dumbbells as well. So mostly lower body with the band, all lower body with the band, and then shoulder work with the dumbbells, okay? I've got 30 seconds on the clock for you, and we're gonna take 15 seconds in between so I can explain what's coming up and so you can move the band if need be, all right? Let's get started. Hey, if you haven't done a warm up, go ahead and click the card right there and follow along with that warm up. I'm ready to go, so we're gonna jump right into it. Okay, you're starting with the goblet squat. So go ahead and grab a dumbbell, feet are shoulder width apart, band is above the knees. All right, we're just gonna squat low, press the dumbbell above our heads for a shoulder press. Here we go. So low and press. So what I'm looking for with this band is, does it flip, does it switch, does it roll up on my legs? So far, no, it feels really sturdy, and very, very tight, painfully tight on my glutes. So. You know, I should probably do a review of how I feel the next day, is what I should do when putting this out. Zoics, it's gonna be hard. In three, two, and time. All right, excellent, let's set those weights down. We're gonna grab two smaller weights. You're gonna do a front walk, reverse walk with an added valley press. So you're gonna get nice and low, feet shoulder width apart. We're walking forward and backward, all right, and pressing our dumbbells out in that valley press, but I want you to stay low, all right, in that squat position, front and back. Back. Elbows are at 90 degrees. Keep that walk a little wider. Wow, this burns. Shoulders especially. All right, time right there. Good, and our third exercise is that reverse lunge with a lateral raise, okay? So you're gonna do a shallow reverse lunge, kick back, add lateral at the same time. Ready? 
here we go. So reverse, up. So on this one, I normally would like to maybe lift my leg a little higher. I can't, just because it's so tight. But, you know, I'm guessing it'll loosen as time goes by. We're 30 seconds aside on this guy here, so keep going. Whew, in three, two, and one. That was hard, pulled the pants up. All right, switch legs. Yeah, but it's nice, that's not rolling at all, is it? It's good. Ready, and here we go. Low, up. Normally you have to keep this reverse lunge super shallow um, because the band would roll, but this feels okay here. Get low. Good shoulder burn as well. Almost there. All right, rest for a second. Whew. Yep, that burns. All right, back to your goblet squat. Overhead press. Feet shoulder width apart. Get ready in three, two, and here we go. As low as you can, get those elbows close to your knees and press to the ceiling. I probably could have used a heavier weight here. I only have an eight. My 15's are around the corner there. I'm not gonna stop. Feel free to go heavier. We're doing this three rounds. 10 seconds. Moving to the front and reverse walk. Valley press combo. All right, good. Set that weight down. Grab your lighter weights. Ready? In four, three, get low, feet shoulder width apart. Here we go, walking, pressing, stay low, tap, reverse. Stay in a squat, 10 seconds left. Keep going, push. Low, low, three, two, time. Okay, reverse lunge lateral combo. I'll be happy after this circuit's done. Just give my glutes a little rest. They're feeling like everything sucked in here. Ready, and here we go. Oops. Definitely burns out that glute. Eight seconds here. <whistles> Woo, yeah, maybe. I'm loving that it's not flipping though. Just kind of just camp out with it there. Just kind of chill, you know? Only not chill, sweat, ready. And here we go. Reverse kick. This one feels a little tight on my front knee, like it might be too tight for me, um, just in this exercise specifically. So that is where that lighter band would come in handy. Should have ordered both. I just wanted to try it, you know? Whoa, okay. Round three, grab your heavier weight, goblet overhead press. No sense in buying and not using and such. Ready, do it. Low, press. Watch your face on this one. Some good compound exercises here. Means no cardio, but heart rate gets up, right? It's good. In four, three, 
two, and time. All right, valley press, front and back walk. Whew. Ready, in four, three, get low, feet shoulder width apart. Here we go, and press. Can I mention as well, I already worked out this morning at 6 a.m. A client canceled, so I went to a friend's house and we worked out, but then the band came. I'm like, oh my gosh, I have to do this video. I was waiting for it. All right, reverse lunge, lateral combo. That's why this one's shorter, just 30 minutes, because I'm like, huh, I don't think I can manage. Ready, in four, three, Two, here we go. Low kick. Straighten that back leg. I haven't had to adjust this bad at all. That's nice. Really nice. This one's the hardest of them all for me. Okay, time, but I can't stay in there. It's doing its job. I'll give it that. I'd like to see what it would be like, like two or three months from now if I used it regularly. How loose it would be. Three, two, here we go. I should also try it with shorts on, but it feels like, you know, when you wear um, a strapless bra, um, it has that sort of like rubbery band in there. It kind of feels like it has a bit of that coating. Woo! Okay, that was brutal. Take a quick water break and uh, join me back for the second circuit. All right. Moving down to the ground, we're going to do a frog pulse, elevated frog pulse, and an overhead tricep extension. I know I said mostly shoulders, but this goes well with this exercise. In three, two, here we go. Push up, back, and down. Up, back. Get those knees separate, separated. Separate, separate. Push up and down. I can probably add two. Yeah, just double up on the pulse. If you can do it, it's kind of like tapping your head and rubbing your stomach here. Oh, I liked it. That was good. That's a good tension for that. Um, okay, plank jack. Slip the band uh, around your shins. And we're gonna go into a plank jack position. In three, add shoulder tap. Here we go. So jack, tap, tap. Jack, that's really hard. Jack, I'm not getting much separation on my legs here. Jack, tap, tap, jack. That's okay though. Still work. Standing for a plie squat. Add upright row coming up. Three, two, last jack right there. Okay, good. Bring the band above the legs, above the knees again. Okay, get the hair out of your mouth. Nice wide, toes out, Ooh, this is hard. Here we go, low and up. Just go nice and slow into it initially. Yeah, normally the band would snap up on this guy too. I'd have to go really controlled. I'm only going slow here because it's so tight. It is a killer. You really have to work against the band though. Holy, it's good. I like it a lot. All right, good. Let's go back down to that frog pulse. Keep the band where it's at. Bottom close to your bench, feet together. Knees are out, trying to double up on that hip pulse. Ready, and. Up, up, 
Keep the knees separate. Watch your head. This is fantastic. You really open your legs as wide as you want. That band is not moving. That is good. Okay. That's my favorite one so far. Okay. Move that band around your shins. Be easier above your knees. I just wanted to try it a little bit lower. More difficult at the ankles. Add the shoulder tap. Here we go. Tap, tap. As you can see, I'm not getting much leverage on my feet. Like at all. If I had the lighter one, that's where this would come in here. Ooh, feeling it though. Last one. All right, get into that plie. Above the knees. Okay, wide. Knees track over the toes, shoulders back. Low, upright. I feel I'm gonna feel this one tomorrow. Like just the amount of tension on the glutes and the amount you have to control to push it out is substantial here. But again, you can get that with a regular band. Just use a heavier tension. But the fact that it's not rolling up, I love it. Three, two, and one. Okay, next is that frog again. Last round here. Get into position quickly. Feet together, knees out. Tricep overhead. Ready. Here we go. Up, down, up down. Yeah, it's good that you can open so wide. That is great. A lot of fun. Okay, plank shoulder tap. Oh, that was convoluted. <laughs> A lot of spins. Oh, put it around your shins, ready. And here we go. Yeah, this one's the hardest for me. <clears throat> 10 seconds. Three, two, and one. Oh, goodness. Okay, pull your pants up. Again, move the band above. Last plie, upright row. And a little break and one more circuit. Ready, here we go. Low, up. Lift those elbows up high. Five seconds. And four, three, two, and time. Okay, burn. Quick break, last circuit coming up. Okay, band is around the, above the knees, around the legs. You're getting to a low squat position here, and we're doing a hip extension while slightly squatting here. Ready? In three, two, get low. Here we go. All right, I want 30 seconds per side here. So shoulders back, nice and tall. You can hold on to a pole if you're at the park, um, the bar, side of a couch. If you're at the gym, side of a Smith machine, you decide. This burns that isometric, um, well, it's the stationary leg, 
like crazy. But again, band is stationary, not moving. That's great. <laughs> that was painful. Okay, rest for a second. Uh, get down into the low position, switching legs here. In four, three, two, and kick. Good. Stay upright. You don't want to bend over. If you can go low into a 90 degree squat position, that's the best. I find this difficult on my hips, so I'm not quite there, but still in that squat. Giving that leg a good burn. 10 seconds. Whew. Seated hip abduction with a chest fly coming up. So grab some weights, sit on the end of a couch, chair, bench. Okay, feet are together. You're gonna do the same motion, hands and legs, okay? So right above the knees, ready. And open, close. Keep those toes together. I come up on my tiptoes on this and sit on the edge of the couch or the bench. Open, good. Oh my gosh, that burns. Thank God this is just 30 seconds. Six seconds. All right, oh, I didn't like that one at all. Okay, I probably won't like this next one either. Slip it around the ankles, in and out, squat jumps. Little cardio, little burn. In three, two, and here we go, low. Oh, pff, that doesn't work very well at all. Okay, so on this exercise, a flexi band would probably be best. Those don't roll too much when you're um, around the ankles anyway. So it should be fine. I mean, it's putting tension on. I think I'm getting maybe three or four inches out. As it loosens, it would become easier. Oh, three, two, and one. Okay, I'm taking a little break. Holy, just a sec. Right here. That was hard. Okay. I'm sorry if you want to keep going. Again, second workout today, so a little fatigued. Let's give me two seconds. All right, let's put it above the knees. Got about 12 seconds till we start again. Get into your hip extension. Definitely gonna need to stretch those glutes out. Okay, get it ready in three, two, and here we go, kick it back. This one starts feeling amazing. You're like, I got this, it feels so good. And like right about now, that stationary leg is on fire. Like 10 seconds in, what? How? I didn't think I'd be sweaty in this workout. Now I'm all sweaty, I just showered. It's too bad. Keep going, six seconds. In four, three, two, and one. Hard, definitely hard. Okay, again, it's above the knees. Switching stationary legs. In three, two, here we go. And kick. I know I'm almost out of frame here. I hope you can see me. Seated hip abduction with the chest fly squeeze coming up. Another 10 seconds here. Stay tall. Three, two, and time. Oh, don't like it. Okay, grab your weights. Get ready. On your tiptoes, sitting on the end in four, three, two, here we go. Open and close. Don't let your elbows drop. Normally I can get wider with a lighter band too. This is work. In three, two, and time. Oh, 
Okay, ankles, in and out squats. Let's break for a second. Um, actually, I'm gonna go shins, just to make it a titch easier, see if that works better. Ready, get low and jump. Not much better, that's okay. Stick with it. One more round after this. Halfway. Yeah, a little easier for sure, the higher up it is. Again, still no rolling and no slipping. It really does what it says. That's fantastic. Okay, just one more break here. Oh, sweeps. That is hard. Quick sip if you need. Okay, we can do it, right? One more round. 10 seconds. Okay. <laughs> In three, two, get low and press. I really like the start of this exercise. It becomes hard so fast though. Halfway. The knee that you're kicking back is bent. Okay, not straight. In four, three, two, last one here. Ugh. It's like the muscles know when the time is up, you know? Just instant fatigue. Although if I had made the time for 45 seconds, I'd been able to do like 40 well. Here we go. And there we go. Press. Ten seconds. Definitely work this little thirty minute workout. It's not even thirty minutes, I don't think, by the time we're done. Okay, time, but I'm dripping, how, what? Weird, okay, above the knees, grab your dumbbells. It's also summer, that makes it harder, hotter. Open, close. One more exercise after this and you are done. Hey, feel free to repeat if you want a full hour workout. Or how I sometimes do it, just run through all the exercises one more time. They're all listed at the bottom there, so do it if you want the challenge. One more, oh, there we go. Oh, that was brutal. Okay, in and out, squat jumps for the win, for the finish, and then I'm stretching this out because holy glutes, Batman. All right, I got something in my eye. Ready? And get low, jump, come on. Feet face the front on this, okay. If you're in front of a mirror, that would be even better. You could see, make sure that your knees are not collapsing as you're pressing out, All right? 10 seconds. In five, four, three, two, Time, oh, get off of me. <laughs>
and you're wearing shorts, let me know in the comments below how it feels with them with the band. Now when I first took it out of the package I thought this was Velcro, you know where you can put your name on a leather strap. <laughs> Very fancy. Um, and what was I saying? Oh yeah, Velcro. Uh, but it's not, it's stitched. So that's nice. Let's bring their glued in here. Uh, what, why I paused there for a second was I guess I ordered the small medium one which means the band is smaller or medium, not the resistance. So Anyway, I'll link it below. The small medium is the harder one. The medium large is going to be easier because the pad is going to be larger, right? I liked it. And it's called QSTA. What? Can't you say like fit loop or something? What does that even stand for? I don't know. I can't remember. But again, it'll all be listed low, below. Yeah, that was good for tension. Um, you know, and I, I haven't read the instructions yet, but I'm guessing you could probably wash this, throw it into the wash if it got kind of, if you're, if you're a trainer and you're sharing it with other people, you know, with the rubber bands, at least you can wipe them down with um, water or, or some, uh, you know, soap or whatever, wash them. But uh, I'm a fan, I'm, I'm not gonna lie. I mean, I'm a fan for the sense that it gave me a good workout. I'm not a fan for the sense that it was like way more difficult than any band that I'm normally used to. But on the flip side, that's how you progressively overload the mus muscles, right? QSTA. All right, I'm going to let you go because I'm not really doing a great job in stretching. <laughs> go ahead and continue to do your own stretch. Thanks for joining in this workout. I hope that you buy the band. I would love to uh, hear your comments below what you think of this band. And this is not sponsored or anything. Like, I'm so, like they said, hey, Tracy, would you like to do a... No, I'm, I'm not that popular. <laughs> Yet. Yet is the operative word. Um, anyway, I liked it. I'd buy it again. Do it. As always, go move daily in your fitness, wellness, and nutrition, and I will see you in the next video.